Hi, I'm Peter Kantström of Kantström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to create some example data. So I'm going to open this SharePoint list in Access. And as you see, this task list now is also using the user info. And on this team site, I have added or pointed out some of the users. As you see, these have an email address. I'm also going to create some lists to contain my example data. So I'm going to create one that has the priority. And then I'm going to just paste in some priorities. Let's just go into the tasks, find the priorities that I want to have there. Of course, they are in the priority choice field here. So these are the ones that I want to get some data for. So those are the priorities that I want. And then I want to create another table with the titles. I'm just going to do a new short text there with the title. And I already have a list of the titles that I want to use here in Excel. So I'm going to copy and paste that into Access also. I'm going to close that and save the table, call it um, titles. And now I'm going to create a query that joins all this information. So I'm going to use the query wizard for that and select the fields that I want. I want the ID from the user info table and also want the work email. I'm going to show you how to use that later. And then I'm going to use the priority and the titles and I want to use the title from that. So that's what we want. Uh, I want to not have relationships between these. That's fine. I don't want to have any relationships. So now I'm going to create a query. I'm going to use a query design. I'm just going to add the tables that I want to use. I want to use all except for the leads because that's where I want to get the data to get added. So now I'm just going to double click on the priority, the title, and then the ID. And let's check that. And I'm just going to look at the work email. Now, if I run that query, you see I get all the combinations of these. So there are 480 of those. As you see, there's. Oh, I didn't like that. It didn't like that at all. Let's see. I'm just going to go page down and let's see the lots of these. So the ones that we want, we don't want all the blank ones because those wouldn't be assigned to anybody. So let's modify the query and just to the criteria and not null. And then run a query, query again. And then we can see we get a little bit less tasks here, 270. And we also have this crawler account. We don't want that one in our example data. So I'm going to modify that again and just do and not that email address. All right. So now we have the example data that I want to create, just a query. That will be 240 items. Now I want to change this query and make it an append query. And I'm going to append to leads. One other thing that I need to do, so I get the um, ID of the user info. I want to set that to the assign to field. And the work email shouldn't be added to anything. And the title should be added to the task name. And the priority, of course, the priority. That works fine. Now, the only thing that I need to do is make sure that the column here, the other column, the assigned to is actually not a multi-value field. So I'm going to go into that and enforce allow multiple selections should be no. Otherwise, that will fail. Now I'm just going to run this query. Of course, I won't be able to undo, but I'll now add 240 items to my SharePoint list. So let's go back to my leads. And here are my leads, 240 of them. So that concludes my demo. Thank you for watching.